What's up guys, Axis here and today I'm going to be bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a bar scene in Cinema 4D. Uh, we're just going to be using stock Cinema 4D, no plugins or anything. Uh, and at the start you would have seen the example, which was my Lucky 7 Projects intro, which had the forest scene that I'm going to be trying to recreate today. So uh, let's get into it. First off, just get into Cinema 4D. Open up a Lightroom if you want it, or I'll be showing you how to do some lights. Uh, but just grab a plane, and we're going to scale this up a little bit. Just scale it up just to the right size, because what we're going to want to do is simulate some hair on here, which is going to be acting as the grass. And the grass, uh, when you increase the count, in turn that is going to increase the render time, so you're going to need to keep this quite small if you want the render times to go at a decent speed. So uh, once we've got this, what we need to do is create a grass material. So just double click down here and double click on material. Go to layer. Click on a layer and we're going to create two noises here in the shader section. And then we're going to set one to burn. Click on just the normal one and we're just going to go to an orange. Uh, and then we're going to go to a brown. Then we're going to go to another brown. Go to the burn. Uh, noise and do the same thing with the colors roughly and then we're going to want to change the global scale to 300 and then once we've done that we can check displacement go to texture change that to noise go into noise change the global scale to 300 and then I'm going to change the height to like 6 sub polygon displacement checked and I'm going to go at that so once we've got that all we need to do now is drag this onto our plane and make sure that we've checked seamless. Uh, now we're going to go to the top view and make sure this is editable with uh, clicking C. Once you've done that, you can grab the uh, rectangle selection tool and select polygon. And we're going to select all of this so it becomes orange and selected. Go into your perspective view and then we're going to simulate some hair here. So add hair. Now I'm going to go into guides and turn down the length. This is obviously personal preference. And then I'm going to add another zero on to make that 50,000 on the count. Uh, if you've got a larger plane, increase this even higher until you get something that you like. Uh, now if I play this through, you can see this is all going to just strip down like that. And we don't want that. Well, not in my case. We're going to go into Dynamics, throw down Property, and Rest Hold to 80%. And as you can see now, this is going to hold in the uh, upright position. So that's all that I'm going to want to be doing with this. So we go into the material that's been generated by the hair. And we're going to try and create something that looks a little bit like grass. So go into the gradient and get some greens. Thickness. Uh, go to length actually. Turn down the length. And I'm going to turn up the variation. Frizz. I'm going to turn this to 20%. Kink. I'm going to turn this to 15 that's looking quite good now. All we need to do now is add some trees and some lighting. So go into your content browser and we're going to go ahead and use the trees that are built in Cinema 4D. There are websites that will have models and if you know how to model a tree then that's brilliant because I don't know how to. You should, <laughs> someone needs to give me a tutorial on this. I don't actually know how to make a tree. If um, yeah, So I'm just going to go into visualize objects plants uh, and I'm going to use these European trees mature. So just choose one that you like. So that's an alright one. What I did was I kind of populated the area with trees uh, that are all different. But just to speed up this render what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to just use the same one, move this to the side, hold control and move it and it will duplicate it. And I'm just going to do this in a kind of circle. Uh, you can use a cloner if you want, but I'm just going to make it look a bit more random. And obviously you leave a space for your logo in the middle if you're going to do that. Uh, so now that we've got that, what we can do is we can go ahead and set up some render settings. Renderer physical. Uh, I'll kind of walk you through the settings you're going to want to use. So if you want to get a really high quality image and use progressive, that's just for a still image though because it will take ages if you want to do a, a proper render. It takes hours just to do one frame. 
uh, and normally I just leave this on adaptive but if you can just go in really slow use fixed and on adaptive you can use medium I wouldn't go above medium on a render like this though because of the uh, hair that's been generated uh, so then we're just going to go ahead output is going to be 720 at 300 dpi and then however long you want this to be I'm just going to be using one current frame so just one current frame there and go to save and we're going to be using a uh, TIFF PSD layers and if you if you've got the background showing uh, which I'm which I didn't have in the original you can check alpha which will make it transparent but I don't need to make sure all these are checked as well if you bring it into After Effects because it will save with it so if you're using any of these uh, then check them but I'm using After Effects so let's see yeah add some ambient occlusion on the effect and just leave that stock uh, that should be good for render settings. Now, we're going to add some lighting. So just get a light here, bring this up. This, these are going to be the two main lights I'm going to be using. So I'm going to create a green shadow on soft. And then I'm going to duplicate this by holding control and then moving it along the X axis. And then we're going to grab a green, a uh, blue, I mean, sorry. <coughs> now we're going to kind of add like something that's uh, sort of resembling a soft box, but uh, it's not so I'm just going to get a new light soft shadow put this in a cloner by holding alt go and grid array and then turn the Y down to 1 and then what you can do is you can even the size 300 move this up above I'm going to get the light and I'll turn it down slightly. These two lights down here I'm going to make about 50% or exactly. Uh, and when you render this you should have a quite a nice effect. I'll just do a quick render, see if it actually looks alright. So obviously it's going to take quite a while. Ah, oh, there we go. It's looking really nice, it's looking like the original, uh, which is kind of like a night scene, which is what I was going for. You might want to add some more blues if you wanted a nice night scene. But if you wanted a daytime scene, what I'd do is I'd add some more lights here, make them brighter, and make sure you add some oranges into the mix, because that will make it uh, resemble some sunlight. And then you can also add a sky if you want, with a, you know, like a sky cloudy texture if you want with some reflections added to some of these materials uh, and then the logo that I used was uh, the L7 logo obviously with an outline of uh, some white on the uh, text I'll just make that really quickly because it's really simple so just get a white kind of like a almost white grey uh, I really like grey go to glow and we're gonna put this to 10 so it's a really subtle glow Yeah, so I just put that on the outline of the text, and for the uh, for the uh, material that I used on it, the really nice displacement map one, I used a grunge, which was this rock texture here in my pack. So if you have that, and you can go ahead and use it. I have a link to it in the description as well. So uh, I'm going to include some final render shots of this, um, just raw footage with no color correction and stuff, so you can see and I'll put it in the thumbnail as well um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I hope this helped you guys out because there's a lot of new techniques in here that I've not really used or shown off in any other tutorials um, so just comment some suggestions for tutorials in the, script, uh, in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial